Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Ravi and I am going to start a new series called Service Now Admin. In this series, we are going to discuss about various um, aspects of the Service Now Admin. So, let's get started. So, if you have not uh, subscribed my channel, I would request please like, share and subscribe. So, this is my channel and if you need this documentation, you can visit my website called snowexpertrovi.com. There you will get this kind of documentation. There are many other uh, uh, documentation, um, any other video available in my channel. If you want to watch, you can go ahead and watch that. So, I have created different, different playlist. You can go and watch that. So, let's talk about that. Who can get the benefits from this um, video? So, I'm going to create a multiple video uh, one by one um, as a series. So, who will get the benefit for that? So this admin series, the benefit will be uh, the user will have zero or six months experience. They will get the benefit from this video. If you have more than six month experience, let's say one year, two year, mostly you have know that basic stuff like service now, how they are operate all those stuff. So I would recommend that if you already um, have more than six months experience, then go and watch other video in my channel. But um, this is basically for the new people who are going to start their career in service now or who have basic knowledge just join uh, I mean six months now after this completion of this course you will get a help from that um, CSA certification exam so when you start your career you need certain certification we'll discuss also in our uh, video but um, if you want to build your good career you need the CSA certification so in this video, we are going to discuss various aspects, various portion of the CSA exam also. So you will get a help from uh, for your CSA exam. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. So in this video, what are the topics we are going to discuss? First thing we are going to discuss about ServiceNow overview. So what is ServiceNow? Uh, why we need the ServiceNow? Uh, so who are new? They don't know that. Why the ServiceNow needed? So let's say that um, the company hire some service now developer why they need the service now developer or why they need the service now instance we'll go we discuss in our this video next we'll talk about that list and form so what is list in service now what is form in the service now then we'll discuss about the table and fields so what is custom table what is the out of box table we'll discuss that then we'll talk about the customization not only the brr ur policy there are many um, other script or basic script or basic configuration we are going to discuss then we will discuss the major application in our system called incident problem change knowledge and the SLA so these are the major application so when someone started their career in service now so these all are very frequent question or these are very uh, you know basic uh, module they normally work so we will discuss that in incident problem change then we will talk about the dashboard workflow reporting the those are come under service now administrator and then finally we'll discuss about the application scopes instance health and stats so these are the thing we are going to discuss in our uh, series one by one uh, so let's go ahead and see the next thing so first thing uh, when you start your career into service now the first question in your come uh, in your mind that what is service now right so if you don't know about that what is service now why we do need the service now so let's understand and explore that and then uh, how we get the free instance industry how they maintain their in, um, you know service now instance we'll discuss that in our class upcoming uh, day so first thing what is service now in a high level service now is a cloud platform like you don't need to install any application in your system uh, let's say that uh, for example any application we install right so uh, zoom or uh, timby or those are uh, installable software right but the service now is not an installable software it is a cloud based so you can search in your uh, you know uh, any browser give your credential and you can start accessing that for example uh, office 360 right now right so we can access the mail from mobile we can access the mail from any of our computer or any other computer not only the single computer any other computer right so what is the benefit for using the cloud platform let's say that you are installing a software in your um, in your system right once you install that application your system got crashed so all the valuable data will be lost in this case we use the service now cloud platform so that all the data are present to the cloud storage application we just access and use that and we don't need to have any dependency so let's say that a, a, a organization have 10 user right so 10 user have organization they are 10 developer right and you need to create separate separate desk for them so you created separate desk for them right so now if you install one each and every system if you install the software 
so tomorrow you can't like a one user did not came to in your systems so you, other user cannot utilize that until unless it's a cloud so if you see you install this application in your system now i if i try to someone try to use this application they cannot because um you know there are certain user password all this stuff sit right so if it is a cloud based you can just open the chrome environment and you can start using that so basically service now is a cloud based platform which have a workflow automation so which have a workflow and automation system that can improvise your daily to daily activity so basically there will be several tasks the task will be performed by certain user and then that task tracking service now will track those tasks so let's understand for example how they are tracking for example i am a user or any user sam sam is a user so this is a user who have a computer so this is a laptop he have and some guy some reason this laptop is crashed right so he is not able to use that laptop or maybe some functionality is not he is not able to use that what he will do he will log into the service now instance and then he will say that i am not able to use this uh, this application let's say that my a laptop printer is not working so he will uh, in, uh, go to the service now instance and create an incident once you create an incident right so he will receive a incident number called one or something like the incident number now what will be happen once that is incident is created system have a capacity based on that uh, you know caller let's say that you are vip user or maybe you are a normal user you selected that category as a hardware and then desktop based on that system will automatically assign the best user suitable user for you okay so let's say if you are you uh, if you are a high uh, vip user system will assign you a very expert level uh, uh, you know uh, engineer if you are normal user your category is a desktop so it will assign to desktop engineer system will know that for which purpose you are raising and based on that automatically system will assign a ticket that ticket to particular user once it is assigned to particular user uh, the user will start working on that particular incident now what will be happen so after some time so he um, work on that incident after some time he resolve that so once he resolve that he just mark that uh, resolve into the service now so he maybe let's say for example he is a desktop engineer he visit your um, uh, desktop and he, uh, or maybe uh, he visit the router and resolve the router and then update the incident state equal to resolve once it is done system automatically send a mail so user once the user update the state equal to done or complete from the service to instance system will automatically send a mail to the user and user will get a notification that yes my system is my instance is resolved or my laptop is resolved now i can go to the service center or pick my laptop from there so they will go and collect that system from that uh, service center or any other center and then they will provide the feedback if they like right so this this engineer have work great within one hour they resolve something like that they can provide the feedback so this way service now will track all these details like what is the current status who got that uh, incident that all will track by the service now now how do we get the free developer instance to get the free developer instance you have to visit this developer.servicenow.com and here you need to create your personal uh, account let's say in your um, email address and all those details you have to give that once you give that all these details you will get a developer instance or personal instance for your practice purpose like when you uh, when you um, uh, learn that photoshop or any of this application you can get a free um, uh, uh software for 14 days or 20 days right similarly you can get a service of instance for 10 days so if you are using you will get a 10 days now if you not using within the 10 days this instance will be taken by the service the but if you are using you can use for long time so there is a long time commitment if you are using for every day service now will give you that long time but if you are not using within uh, 10 days or 20 days service now will automatically take that environment so how do you get that environment so you can go to the developers.thirdwisdom.com and then you can get the instance from there so if you need the step by step step how to get this developer instance um i'll give a playlist link in my video you will get that all these uh, reference video there like how do you get that uh, you know all these like uh, developer instance there have the step by step you can go that So this is the developer instance or developer website. You can see developers.servicenow.com, and in this environment, you can log in here, and from here you can get the uh, 
personal environment or personal instance this instance will be only accessible by you and this is for your practice purpose whatever practice you want to do you can practice that but this instance will not be used by any anyone but in your organization the same instance will be used by multiple person like multiple user is going to use the same environment for your organization purpose but this developer environment is only for you for practice person and the name is all we call the PDI personal developer instance so that I am going to use for myself only now next Let's understand that how the service now maintaining the multiple instance. So what will be happen? Let's say for example, company X and company Y, they are both are the different company, right? So you are working for a company X. So let's for example, you are working for company X. So your manager or the first time when you are uh, starting or first time when your organization or your company starting um, the service now project, what they will do? They will reach back to the service now. They will say that I will pay some amount, let's say that $2,000 a year, year I will pay that $2,000 so I need ServiceNow instance and I need some uh, ServiceNow subscription to use that so ServiceNow what will do based on this company they will give that couple of environment or couple of uh, ServiceNow instance the first environment they will give dev environment then test environment then QA environment and production environment so they will give the multiple environment for you for example and you are working for Devin uh, you are working for this company X so you are working company for X your colleague is working for company X uh, other user is working for company X they will have all the user have access to this various environment Dev, test QA, prod okay and then you are going to uh, work on this all the environment as a admin okay what will be happen the end user or like Sam they, uh, they will have only access to the production environment. They will go to the production environment and they will raise the incident ticket or all those stuffs into production environment. So, so you need to understand two things. One, you are the developer and then other is that they are the end user. So developer will have access to this environment, this environment, this environment, but end user who is actually that end user they will have access to the production environment this production environment for example i'm giving you that you are using the office 365 application right so what will you do you go to the office 365 and use that that functionality of office 365 but before this there are functionality there are dev team who have the different different environment they have test that all their functionality is working fine or not then after that it is published here and then you are going to use that so basically Dev team have access to all the environment, but only end user have access to directly production environment. So Dev team will first develop here, then test here, then they will validate the quality, and then finally they will push all these changes to the production. And then once it is moved to the production, end user will be have access to that. So basically, Dev team have early access. Dev, dev team know that what they are developing after a certain time. They will move to the test environment, they will move to the QA environment, they will move to the production environment and they will move to the, once it is moved to the production environment, the end user will have access to those functionality and they will start using that. So this is how the ServiceNow uh, uh, instance are work. They are connected between each other and then we can move our port from dev to test, test to QA and QA to prod. All this we can do that. So this is all about one company. So this is all about company X. For company Y, they have a similar setup. So these all are segregated. We can't see the data from company X to Y. So they have different barriers. We cannot see any data from X to Y. So each company have this kind of setup for their test, QA and production. Understand? Next, go to that release. So like, for example, you go to the Office 365 or any other application, let's say that Windows, every, uh, they have update their environment, right? Similarly, ServiceNow also update or upgrade their environment like they have upgraded their environment each year twice. So if you see line of, um, year of 2020, they have these two release, Orlando and Paris. 2021, they have Cubic and Rome. 2020, San Diego and Tokyo. And 2020, they have Utah release and there will be upcoming some releases here. So what will be happening, each release they are going to introduce new functionality like new features, new functionality, new things like various new things will come to the each release, okay? And that we call upgrade. So every year, 
service now upgrade twice their environment and we have to upgrade our environment with the service now so service now is a platform right we rented this platform we rented this platform for two thousand dollar for example and what will be happen once we rented that so they will update their main system and it will ask us to update our system also okay every year they will upgrade twice so they once they upgrade twice they will ask us to upgrade ourselves and it is mandatory to upgrade um, i mean at least once in a year service now instant and then if you see this upgrade have a different different name each year they upgrade twice and each uh, year they put the different name and each name are the city name of various uh, you know world they are the, they pick some random city and then they are upgrade name they put some random uh, city name so this way they upgrade their environment once they ask update please and our system admin will update ourselves with various check once it is upgrade system will be updated so we are right now utah release i am going to demo all these things in utah release in the service now so that's all about the releases so every year they have um, released their systems or they have upgrade their system release means upgrade their system and accordingly we have to take our action and upgrade that as a system administrator I have a responsibility to upgrade ourselves. Okay. Now let's go to the next thing. So service now have what are the applications service now have? So let's say that for example Microsoft Team using the Microsoft Team you can voice call, you can video call, you can uh, chat, different different things you can do, right? Similarly, service now is the application. That application have a different capacity, and these are the capacity: IT, uh, customer service. Uh, intelligence app, HR, security, and these all are, if you see this IT operation management, ITSM, so these all are various kind of application. Service now have a lot of application. So we are going to go on through one by one all this, most of the application, popular application. So there are, you can see, um, n number of application available into the service now. We are going to learn one by one depending on our use cases. Now let's come into the last point, not the least type of the work for service now admin so if you are the service now admin what kind of work you have to do as a service now admin normally what do you have to do we have to monitor our queue like we got an incident in a in our queue we need to analyze that incident like is it correct incident or not is it a defect is it an enhancement or is it a uh, bug we need to analyze that so monitor the incident user access and provision like Let's say that some user are not able to access our environment, some X environment. So we need to um, check their user profile and then we need to give certain role so that they can access that. Then let's say that new user onboarded and maybe some user automatically created or maybe some organization you need to manually create those user. Any small, any incident created, we need to debug that it is working perfectly fine into not in the service now. What is the issue for uh, not working let's say that some user is reported that in service now environment this thing is not working so you need to debug that it is working or not now we have to check that small changes into the environment let's say that um, you think that um, you know some user doesn't have any role you give that role some user doesn't have any group you add them a group or maybe some uh, property is turned off you need to give that and then we have a update set migration so uh, let's say that developer develops something and they uh, leave there. So as a admin, we need to move that uh, development from dev to you, um, test, test to QA, something like that. So we discuss that and then we need to maintain that instance here. So we need to check that our instance is working fine or not. All the email are going to perfect user or not. Um, is there any instance health issue? Like this spaces, spaces is going to high uses or um, is there any outage into the environment? We have to check all these stuff as a service now admin. So service now admin have a lot of tasks, so they have to do daily to daily basis. So we'll discuss on our upcoming video. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.